Wire Dog has big ears, but sometimes he doesn't listen. One day, Ellen and Wire Dog were playing together outside. At first, it was a sunny day, but after a while, some clouds began to roll in. At lunchtime, Ellen's mother told her that there might be a rainstorm in the afternoon. She told Ellen to watch the sky so that if the clouds turned dark, she would have time to run home and get indoors before it started to rain. After lunch, Ellen and Wire Dog went out to play again. But every now and then, Ellen would look up into the sky to see if the clouds were getting any darker. Well, Wire Dog didn't pay any attention at all to the clouds in the sky. He never looked up even once. He didn't seem to care at all about the future. Wire Dog only seemed interested in the present. All he wanted to do was run and bark and roll around on the grass. Well, before long, Ellen noticed that some clouds were getting really dark, and it looked like her mother was right. A big rainstorm was rolling in. Let's go, Wire Dog. It looks like a storm is coming. But Wire Dog just kept running around as if he didn't have a care in the world. Ellen called her dog in a nice voice, and he started toward her. But when he, she reached out to grab him, he turned and ran away as fast as he could go. Well, Wire Dog thought this was a fun game, but Ellen didn't think it was very funny at all. Ellen was frustrated. She was trying to help her dog stay dry, but he wouldn't listen. So she called him in a serious voice. But Wire Dog just crouched down on the grass and stared at her. Just then, Ellen saw a flash of lightning in the sky far away. It was too far away to produce any thunder, so Wire Dog didn't hear the thunder, and he didn't see the lightning. Fine then, said Ellen to her dog. Stay out here as long as you like. I'm running home, like my mother said. I don't want to get caught in a rainstorm. Ellen quickly walked home and went into the house, and soon she heard rain pounding on the roof. When she looked outside, she saw Wire Dog trotting toward his little dog house with his head down and water dripping from his wet hair. Well, he had a rather foolish look on his face as he crawled into his dog house. Once inside his house, he turned around and lay down with his chin on his paws and looked out into the rain. Ellen felt a little sorry for her dog, but she hoped that he'd learned a good lesson. We should always listen to our parents when they give us good advice, and we should learn to quickly obey. We should never be so caught up in the fun of the moment that we can't look up or think about what is best for the future. The end. Wire Dog Stories were created by Ellen Walters. This story was written by her dad, David Walters. It was illustrated by Peter White, by Linda Farrington Wilson, and by Georgia Stilo. You can write and illustrate your own Wire Dog stories. Check it out at Wire Dog Stories.